Lesson two, topic triangle congruence by side, side, side. Learning target, I can use the side lengths to prove triangles are congruent. First off, this is on your resource sheet, but also I'll put it on the slide. Um, we have our first congruence postulate. So we have side, 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 congruence postulate. So it, to know that two triangles are congruent, you have to know that all three sides and all three angles are congruent to each other. Well, in this unit, we are going to learn shortcuts to proving triangles are congruent. And the first shortcut is side, side, side. So it's only three things that you have to prove are congruent. So if we can prove that all three sides are congruent to the three sides of a second triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So here we have side AB and side RS is, are congruent, uh, side BC and side ST are congruent, and side CA and side TR are congruent. So therefore, the two triangles are congruent. So we are going to use this postulate in our work today. So first off, decide whether the congruence statement is true. Explain your reasoning. So we have triangle DFG is congruent to triangle HJK. Well, we have side DF is congruent to side HJ. We have side FG is congruent to side JK. And we have another side congruent to from GD and HK. We have three congruent sides. So yes, the triangle is triangles are congruent by side, side, side. If we look at number two, we have ACB. Triangle ACB is congruent to triangle CAD. Well, if I look, um, they share side AC, so both would be a nine. They have AD is congruent to BC because they're both seven. But if I look at side AB and CD, uh, AB is not congruent to CD. So therefore, we can say no. That uh, statement, that congruent statement is not true. Um, and then we have triangle QPT is congruent to triangle RST. In Edpuzzle, I'd like you to choose yes or no. Are those two triangles congruent? Uh, you should have said yes because of side, side, side. We have side QT is congruent to RT. We have PQ is congruent to SR. And we have TP congruent to TS. So three congruent sides means we can say the triangles are congruent. And our last piece, we're going to do a proof. So write a proof if we're given that KL is congruent to NL. You can see that marked here with our little tick marks. So I'm going to put that statement in blank number one. And our reason would be given. We always start with those givens. And then we have KM is congruent to NM. Again. You can see that marked with those tick marks. Uh, so that would be our second statement, also given. So we have side, side. So in blank number three, we would want to put a third side because then we could use our side, side, side congruence postulate to say that triangle KLM is congruent to triangle NLM. Remember, what we want to prove will always be in that last line. So if we look at the third side of both triangles, they share that side, it's LM. So we would say LM is congruent to itself, LM. And our reason for that, if you remember all the way back to unit one, oh, no, nope, unit two, excuse me, the reflexive property of congruence. And that's all the notes I have for you, making up for that super long video from lesson one with a short video for lesson two.
ahead and move on into your prep.